What's happening? It's your boy Abram, and I'm coming to you from Gohan Matsu Park in Abiko, Japan. Yeah. Um, speaking of Japan, I've been here for about a year now, as most of you know, teaching English, and it's been an adventure. Um, it has its ups, it's had its downs, but we're not here to talk about that. Uh, today, what I wanted to do is kind of give you an idea of what to bring with you uh, while if you plan on moving to Japan or if you plan on moving or coming here for any extended period of time, uh, things that you should pack with you. Um, I've talked to quite a few people about this and I've kind of compiled a list of things that you'll want. It's not that great, it's not that sexy, it's not that whatever, but it is useful. So. I hope that this helps you in your future travels coming here or coming to maybe most places in Asia might be roughly the same. i uh, give you a little background. I'm from America. That's where I was born and raised. My parents are from the Caribbean, so I'm used to Caribbean food, spicy food, a little bit more heat. Um, and so I'm gonna kind of bring that to this and uh, just let you know what I would recommend you bring. Number one. Deodorant, yes, deodorant. Uh, antiperspirant, if that's your thing. Um, personally, not for me, I just want deodorant. Highly recommend bringing that with you. Uh, it's very difficult to find here in Japan, and it's when you do find it, it's not gonna be the strength that you're used to back home. Um, I guess most, most uh, countries in Asia, uh, people don't really have a high body odor like we do back home or like I do uh, so it's not that big of a deal for them so I definitely recommend bringing your own deodorant uh, however long you're gonna be here definitely stock up um, the summer times here are brutally hot um, I'm from Florida they're very similar to Florida weather uh, where it's 100 100 degrees outside you know 100% humidity and you're just dying sitting underneath a tree or something or in a classroom or whatever as long as there's no AC you're sweating um, so definitely recommend bringing your own deodorant and applying it as much this way you stay fresh clean sexy smelling good feeling good being awesome number two toothpaste bring your toothpaste from home the toothpaste out here does not have fluoride in it in most cases and even if it does it's not the same strength as you're used to uh, so if you want to keep your pearly whites pearly white, if you want to keep that breath smelling fresh and clean and not kicking like Jackie Chan or Bruce Nor Chuck Norris, wait, Bruce, Bruce Lee, yeah, Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, um, bring your own toothpaste and, uh, bring enough to, to share with some friends too, just in case. Um, number three, uh, body washes. If you have a specific body wash or medicated body wash that you use, Bring that with you, um, this way you still feel good. Um, and while you can make the transition to finding a similar Japanese product, or you can find a reliable source to get it um, out here. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend you doing that. Let's see, what else should I tell you? Oh, remember I told you I made a list? Yeah, I talked to men and women on that list. Were a few things for the ladies. Uh, one, feminine hygiene products, if you like tampons, Bring your own tampons they don't have them just that's what they were told me um and all they have are pads so definitely bring that also for this could probably go for everybody dry shampoo i don't know what that is i don't have hair but bring it okay um those are a few things that i got from other people uh speaking of that um if you like to have a good time and you like to get your sexy on guys bring condoms the condoms out here are not the same um, they will kind of, uh, yeah, they're not the same. Just don't do it. It, it, it becomes painful and, uh, yeah, they're, they're not the same. Uh, so definitely bring your own there, bring enough for however long you need, how much you plan on using them. Um, and then bring a little bit more. That's just my thing. Uh, next, this one's kind of for traveling. Um, bring an adapter, an international adapter for your electronics. Uh, one that can also step down from like 110 or up to 220, take the 220 down to 110 since, you know, most American electronics run on 110. Um, 
bring that with you. Uh, it's going to be a lifesaver. Travel with it. Keep it in your check or in your uh, carry-on bag. Uh, this way, when you go to an airport, you can plug it in. And I'd recommend bringing a power strip with you whenever you travel and put it in your carry-on. If you go to an airport and it's super busy and you want to just plug your stuff in and get a quick charge, um, but all the outlets are filled by everybody else, you can always plug this in. And you'll make friends because you have more spaces than you'll probably need. Uh, and so other people will come up and be like, hey, can we try to plug in? You'll be like, yes, yes, yes. Um, and then you can start a conversation while you're all waiting for your electronics to charge. Uh, yes. Also, speaking of electronics, bring your own from home. Um, I love cameras. I didn't have one or a decent one, so I, I bought one here in Japan. Um, everything is... All electronics are not as cheap as you think they were. I went to a second-hand store. I bought mine. Uh, but in Japan, there are certain companies that make uh, their menus in Japanese only for their domestic product, Sony. Um, and uh, that becomes quite frustrating. I wanted to buy a camera, but I wanted it cheap. Got it on the second-hand market. Went to like a second-hand store, which they're amazing here. And it's all in Japanese. So it's an adventure using my camera. Uh, also... I wanted to buy a printer, you know, I'm a teacher, if you got to print out supplies, don't want to go to the Kambini every time, um, and the schools don't always have it, and I kind of wanted my own stuff. <sighs> my $50 printer back home cost $250 here, uh, and that was just the printer, no ink, uh, no ink cartridges. Definitely, definitely, definitely bring your own electronics if you have the space and the weight restrictions. Um, bring them on your own or just make a trip home and pick them up yourself. Um, I just opted not to do it and I just go to the Kambini early before I go to work and try and make things happen. Uh, for bigger people like me, cause I'm fat. Yeah. Yes, I'm fat. I'm okay with it. I'm comfortable with it. I'm sexy too. So it doesn't matter. Uh, bring your own clothes and bring enough clothes for, to last you a while. Um, finding, Again, I live in the countryside, about an hour outside of Tokyo, hour and a half. Um, and it, trying to shop for, for clothes for big guys is just a nightmare. Um, shoes as well, just it's just not that fun. Uh, bring your own, bring enough for a year so you can start looking and finding places to that you can shop and maybe finding a new style because your style may or may not be here in the stores because they are also super limited. What else uh, would I recommend bringing? Ah, your favorite snack. Um, yeah, bring your favorite snack. Like, I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. They're almost impossible to find here, and when you do find them, they're crazy expensive. Um, and I'm not gonna pay that much for bad stuff that goes in my body. I mean, I, I pay enough for that anyways, but no, no. Um, I Luckily, I have some awesome friends. Somebody sent me a big ass box of them i'll put a picture of it here with some toothpaste um and uh made me feel great um the snacks you're not going to eat them all yes don't bring a ton but bring enough that you'll feel comfortable um and i know there's going to be people out there screaming you're in japan eat japanese snacks and all this wow that is great i do do that the kombini is my best friend the cashier knows my name and she doesn't even speak english um but uh, yeah, uh, you still want a piece from home. You're having just that terrible day. Uh, anytime you move to a new country, you're gonna have those days where you're just like, I just wanna go home. I don't wanna, I wanna quit, I wanna cry, I wanna go under my bed. Uh, those are the days where you break out the snack, throw on your headphones or put on your favorite TV show and just veg out and relax and just be like, oh. And then you'll forget that you're in another country and all of your woes and troubles and everything will be fine. Um, so comfort food yeah that's kind of my thing i know i'm fat whatever um definitely bring that also if you are a cereal fanatic bring your own cereal that's all i'm gonna say on that there's just it's not here uh those are a few things i would recommend bringing um yeah that's basically it i mean outside of everything else you know the things that you would bring normally to a whenever you're moving pictures of loved ones and stuff because they love you and you want to remember them yada 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 um your your computer whatever uh definitely definitely uh do that well that's gonna kind of wrap it up 
uh, for this. If you like this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button. It goes like this. Yeah. The one that goes like this? No, no, no. This one. Yeah, this one. Um, also, subscribe to the channel. Keep up what's going on. I will be moving next month. Um, I'm not going to tell you where. Not yet. I'm going to kind of keep it a secret until I move. Um, and uh, this way you can kind of see it. Uh, I love you guys. Come visit me. Um, I'm going to try and update this and upload more videos, especially with the move. I think it's going to be exciting. I think you're going to enjoy the new stuff. I'm also trying to get better at editing and doing things. So yeah, we'll see. Like I'm on a gimbal. Yeah. I bought a gimbal. Yeah. You, yeah. uh, but I definitely recommend you guys coming out, visiting me and checking this place out because it's dope. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Stay awesome. Come visit me.